Hi. Today I thought I'd give you uh, an update on the Spanish Mauser. Uh, I showed you that I got the stock and the barrel. And um, I had to do some head spacing. So I got the barrel all cut and everything. Um, it's all at the right depth. So we can... Uh, Get the headspace right. So the barrel's in there. It's only hand tight. I mean, it's snug, but that's about it. But see, we'll put our, put my no-go gauge in there. Drop it in there. Take my bolt stripped down without the extractor. And obviously this is all stripped up. So as you can see, when I turn the handle, it goes right down. It just won't close. Just won't close on the no-go gauge, which is good because when I torque the barrel in, it'll probably stop right about here because you don't, I mean, it won't go much farther than that. But you see right there, it just won't close. So we got the head space right. We still got another shoulder on the barrel. So, uh... Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good for that. You got that fixed up. Got it the head space right. Can't complain about that. So, um, what else am I doing? Oh, I got this piece in. This here, this is the original uh, end cap with the cleaning rod hole that was on this gun. So I had got this uh, front barrel band. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little piece here and I uh, made it so it fits inside here really snug. Hope I can get it in here. If I could show you. Yeah, there. Oh, no. You bugger. But anyway, it fits in here nice and snug. So what I'm going to do is... Here we go, I got it in there. I mean, it's a tight fit, just fits. Okay, so see how it's in there now? See how it's in the end of this thing? So it makes like a cap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld around there, weld around there and cut this bayonet lug off of here. See how it's shaped inside? It's a little lip for the barrel to fit through. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I already worked on the end of this stock, so this thing fits on there nice and snug. Let me see if I can get it on there. I should. Okay. So see, it's on there nice and snug. And that little end cap is in there. Okay. So I'm going to weld that end cap. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the barrel. I think the barrel is going to end up 17.55 inches barrel. So once I get the barrel in there and I get this stock, because I'm going to glass bed this stock a little bit. It should slide in there, I'm hoping. Yeah, well. But anyway, we're only going to leave the barrel stick out about that far. Once I, because now that I set the head space and I know that, that I could use this barrel, now I'll cut it to length and recrown it. Because um, I wasn't going to do that until I made sure the head space all worked out. Um, no use wasting time. So I'll have to clean this barrel up, get the rest of that solder off of there. But one thing that's nice is see this little hole here. That used to be the set point for the. Uh, the old time sight it was on there if you can see that little teeny hole right there what's going to be good is when now that i head spaced this that hole is going to end up down underneath inside the stock so so that's good so that's all good but uh that's where i'm at i'll uh keep you up to date oh this thing here this is the uh 
trigger guard mag box. Um, this mag box is, uh, see the, uh, the little door, kind of loose. So what I'm going to try to do either, I'll try to, uh, I don't know if I can weld that little teeny part of that hinge. Um, but what I might do is uh, re-drill out this housing and just put a slightly bigger pin in there. And I'll try to pin that part of that hinge down just a touch. Because as you can see when you go to close it, see how it wants to move all around. But... Um, yeah, I'll get that fixed up. I'll get that. That's an easy fix. I might even just uh, take this door off, weld that up, add some steel there, and then re-drill a new pin, a larger pin. Because there's no fixing this very much. If I go to weld that, I'm going to lose it. It's just going to blow apart. So... That's where I'm at with all this stuff. Um, I'm glad that this all worked out. I got the headspace right. Um, stuff like that. Um, and I can't get that barrel in there great. Um, I'm too wobbly. Here we go. So, here it is. Glad, happy. Because you never know when you're buying parts old parts that already been head spaced, you know, sometimes don't end up with enough shoulder to do this. My only regret is I've seen online someone is selling very hard to find a, a real actual carbine barrel with the sights and the wooden handguard on the top. But it's in uh, 7 by 57 um, but I already got this barrel. If I had another Spanish Mauser receiver, I'd jump on it and buy it just right now. I wouldn't even think about it, but, uh, but I don't have another receiver. I asked a buddy of mine to look through his parts, see if he has another receiver, a small ring, and, uh, we'll see what he got. Well, that's all I got for today. I'll be working on this, uh, or I might go paint my garage. I'm not sure. No one likes to paint their garage. Um, but anyway, that's what we got. I'm going to keep moving forward. Um, work on the stock. Get that uh, thumb relief. Pat of your thumb. I'm going to sand this out a little bit. Dish this out on both sides. And stuff like that. Oh, this here. I'm going to have to fill that in. Because I do have the ring for that. Wherever the hell that is. Um, oh, here it is. I do have this, but I don't want to put that wood back on the top. Unless I can figure some way to cut this thing and uh, reconfigure it to fit over the barrel. You know, the contour of the barrel at that point. But, uh, I'll see. Because that's a nice place to put a sling. You can put a sling on right there. On that, and it will be on the side. With the sling mount, it's right here. I looked at them online. They want like 15 bucks for them, but it's just a flat piece of steel. Um, I can make that. I don't need to be spending the money on that. Dumped enough in this old gun. We don't even know how it's going to shoot. So, but anyway, thanks for watching the video.